a strategist? Me and you are more than enough, don't you think, brother? I would like to agree. But to fight Cow Cow and restore the Han Dynasty, we will need a well-devised strategy. This is your third visit. I am honored, my lord. Master Liang, does this mean you will join us? Yes. As your strategist, I will guide you to destiny. The Allied forces succeed in foiling the evil ambition of Dong Zhuo. However, this is only the beginning of an age of unrest. The numerous leaders of the Allied forces return to their territories and begin their personal quest to take over the land. However, Liu Bei does not have a land to return to, so he begins to what has become a long period of wandering. For a time, he serves on the Cao Cao, but it is clear that the two heroes cannot coexist. He soon leaves and takes refuge with Liu Biao in the Jing province. Seeing Liu Bei as a threat, Cao Cao sends an army to Jing. Knowing that he cannot win the battle, Liu Bei flees. His only hope to face the giant Wei army is to form an alliance with Wu. For now, the priority is to live to fight another day. Alright, so we have three stages. The Battle of Bo Wan Po, the Battle of Chung Ban, and the Battle of Chirbi for this act, the Flight of Liu Bei. So, we also unlocked three new characters, so I might as well play as those three characters. But, uh, just like any other time, you could always play the Battle of Chirbi to move on to the next act, but I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, anyway. So we're going to do the Battle of Bo Wan Po. We're going to switch characters because I'm not playing Zhang Fei here. And... Hmm. Got Zhao Yun, Peng Tong, and Zhuge Liang. And, uh... Just to take note, Peng Tong, Zhuge Liang, and Simi Yi are the only three characters that could hold six items when they have max rank. So... If there's any other character that has that, that's no. So, anyway, I will play as Zhuge Liang. Might as well. So, yeah. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon. His default weapon is the War Fan. I'm going to equip the Tiger Amulet. Tortoise Amulet and the Peacock Kern. Might as well, right? Bodyguards are still at three. Yep. The conditions or the objective. We have to defeat Sal Sal to win. If I die, if Liu Bei it, if Liu Bei gets killed, or if the time runs out, which, like I said before, timing running. I I don't think I ever lost with the time running out. So. Yeah. So basically, if I die or if Liu Bei gets killed, I lose. Uh, the unit info. We got Liu Bei as a commander, obviously. And Jian Yang. Uh, Zhuge Liang, that's me. Zhao Yun. We got Cao Cao with Xu Xu. Dian Wei. Zhao Ho Dun. Xu Zhu. Yu Jin. Li Dian. Han Hao. Or Han Hao. And Yue Jin. So, yeah. Anyway, let's do it. Follow Zhuge Liang's orders for this battle. You must not engage hastily. Pretend to lose and flee. So the enemy can be lured into our fire attack. And this has to be one of my favorite songs in this game. My favorite has to be the Battle of Guandu in this particular game. That's just me though. So, this stage, 
This stage is kind of interesting when you play as Shoes Forces because basically the gimmick or whatever you want to call it is to run away like run away I'm gonna be nice about it run away and trigger a couple of ambush attacks fire attacks whatnot the yeah first person got the lure in is Jaho Dune um Han Hao is another one and I think Yu Jin is the third I think we do I yeah Yu Jin is the third one we face so very slowly I'm gonna start defeating some troops here um I think I mentioned in Dynasty Warriors 3 that I read some, uh, I read online a couple of people that had, you know, their tier rankings of all the characters, and Zhuge Liang is on most, uh, he's in the, the bottom five, if not the worst one in the tier. And I hate to admit it, it's not better here. I'm not saying it's worse, but it's not nothing really improved. I mean, just what I'm seeing. Because every time I shoot, every time I try to do that fourth charge attack, and if I fail, I flip up in the air and get volleyball to death. So, if that's the case, and I'm using a level 1 weapon, there's a serious problem. So, I mean, I haven't tried the counter with it. I mean, I could be standing corrected right in there, but from what I'm seeing, uh-uh. Nope. And I'm gonna go over here because I went the wrong way. And he needs to come out and shit. Yeah, sometimes if you keep him going, if you don't lure him fast enough, then morale will start to increase. That's why I seen it anyway, because this is the second time this happened. And uh I'm ready at red health, so this uh, it's gonna be fun. I'll say that much. So if he doesn't start chasing you, start attacking the troops. That's the only thing I would say that could help, and it, it's helping here. The dawn of the three kingdoms is upon us. These flames shall carve out our path to the future. And there you go. That's one down. And as you see, some of the troops actually disappeared because they actually got wiped out from that fire attack. And that is so not funny. I, I should be good here when it comes to charge attacks because the problem is, the main problem is the fucking troops. That's what it is. But uh, now he's shooting it up. Yeah, see, I try to do the charge attack, and I get flipped up in the air. Sometimes I get volleyballed and juggled to death, and that's never fun. Alright, he's down. Enemy officer defeated. This won't happen next time. And these archers gotta go. There you go. We must not fall behind. Next, we lead them straight to our ambush party. Your head is mine. Alright, now we'll lure on how you're in too deep. Control yourself to that particular site to allow the ambush parties to happen. And, like I said before, if the general does not start to chase you, just try to defeat or hurt or injure, whatever works, his troops, and then he'll start to come forward. Because there's not much left when it comes to troops, then he'll have to fight. And I'm going to stay in the red health for this one, because I am not chancing fucking up when it comes to true musu attacks. I feel like keeping him at red health for this one will be a little bit easier for me. 
because he's a little bit further. Well, the the location is a little bit further in comparison to the first one. So. Yeah, my bodyguards need to get over here. Because... Okay, did they just randomly appear like that? Where the fuck did those archers come from? I mean, I'm not that concerned. But... Wow. Okay. Also, another thing for you to know. If you succeed in the three ambush attacks, or if you lure all three generals, it will affect the battle of Changwon in a positive way for you. I think it actually lessens the troop counter for Wei's forces, so... Ambush parties. Strike. Anyway, that's taken care of, and he'll be down for the count, or he'll just shield the fuck up. I was not ready for that one. Enemy officer defeated. Now he's down. The enemy must not be alerted to Lord Guan Yu's assault. Divert the enemy to the designated location. Alright, and this one's easy as fuck. All you have to do is just lure him over to the bridge, and it's right there, so. And then after that, Zhang Fei will appear inside the castle, setting the supply depot on fire, and then it'll be an all-out war. Everyone will start marching towards Cao Cao. How unfortunate that you must face me in battle. Prepare yourself. Really? He shielded the fuck up? Alright, now after we defeat Yu Jin, well, you're gonna see it now that everyone's gonna stop moving. And there we go. Yeah, not a chance in hell. Alright, he's down. I'm gonna secure that gate. Might as well, right? And then head inside. Oh. Yeah. And use a Chumusu attack. Lord Jang Fei. Please act according to plan. And there you go. I'm sorry I'm late, brother. I took down the supply depot for you, though. And that helps too. And once we go inside, I'm going to show off where the dim sum and the moose wine is. Cow Cow, I will utilize your ambition in order to fulfill the destiny of our Lord Liu Bei. Huh. 
Alright, so the dim sum and the moose of wine over here. Look out for DM Way. For some reason, I just had this. Um, I just had this theory where in Dynasty Warriors 3, where when you defeated that Musu mode with that said character and they later appear on later stages in future Musu modes like DM Way, Zhou Yu, and all of them, I feel like once they appear, they're a lot harder in comparison. That's just me though. Especially when you have Sun Tzu as a commander for Wu. Just for the fact that he's actually the fastest one. I don't know why I'm charging Musu. I could always attack them. <laughs> what the hell am I trying to do here? So we'll go for DM Wei and Yue Chin. Whoever I go for first, I'll go for. And it looks like I'm going for DM Wei first. And I just gotta be careful because what I'm doing here is very, very reckless. I'm going to try to do a charge attack. The fourth charge attack. That's the only highest charge attack that I have. And I'll be lucky to actually pull it off. I think you saw a couple of times I got flipped up in the air. Maybe I should try that counter. That was not it. That was definitely not it. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's the uh, lead DN. Okay, I'm like, where the fuck did he come from? You know what? Let's just do this, and there we go. And I know it's a fucking lag fest, but <laughs> I'm just gonna have to make do for now. Yeah, I think the lag is a lot worse here. Well, yeah, a lot worse here, if that makes any sense, than Dynasty Warriors 3. What the fuck was that? Alright, he's down, he's down. And yes, I'm letting you know again. You might be thinking, why is it going so slow? No, it's not you. Edit all that shit out, and I'm gonna replace it for this. Oh, f you gotta be fucking kidding me! But yeah, the whole screen thing, you know, being so slow, it's not you, it's not the screen, I mean not the screen, it's not your computer, whatever you're running the video on, it's my game because, well, the game lags when you have a lot of troops here, and well, we saw that, and uh, yeah, so it's not you. <laughs> Alright, so all that's left is, we have Sao Sao and Shushu. Oh, Shuju. And I think Shushu got defeated in that time frame. And, uh. I have a feeling I'm gonna fuck up royally. I heard something drop. What was that? I heard something drop. And I need health badly.
Yeah, not a chance. Alright, he's almost down. I think the Musu attacks are similar like in Dynasty Warriors 3. I know in later later Dynasty Warriors games they actually have a little charge up thing where you actually have a few seconds to get away. Oh shit, awesome. Okay, now I feel so much better. And having that battle axe will help too, so might as well, right? Yeah, this is a total clusterfuck. But, uh... I'm gonna check just to make sure. Because something tells me I forgot to grab one of the two. But, um... No, I didn't. Awesome. So, we'll go and defeat Sao Sao, end it, and call it a day. So, yeah. And he is over... Here. And I remember for some reason he actually retreats. But I could be wrong. Um... Uh, you know what, let's just defeat him. That way I don't have to worry about actually assuming things, or guessing things, or not trying to learn anything new at the moment type of things <laughs> because I say it before and I'll say it again no matter how hard or how many times you played a certain game you always will find something new that you can learn about later on after many years of playing it so anyway he's almost dead and he's ridiculously easy for the fact that his morale's at nothing but that stuff is kinda bullshit Enemy officer defeated. And that's a win. Hopefully that... Uh, hopefully next time I play Zhuge Liang, it'll be with a... <laughs> it'll be a much easier stage, and I'll have a much better weapon. I know I'll have the level 2 weapon by the end of this, but I need to get the second grade weapon, so to speak. Because level 1 weapon stuff is not happening. I mean, it's it's difficult as it is. <laughs> I mean, I had full intents in the beginning to play the Musa mode with one character, but I just feel like playing with different characters might as well, because I know I'm not going to be doing 39 different Musus. So, yeah. Anyway. We have the Taurus Ammo Level 3, we already have that. We have an old version of the Wing Boots, I think it was only level 1. And that's it. So we did in 15 and change. We have a KO count of 138. I'm actually surprised. I'm surprised I got that much. And we should have a good probably 3,500 points. Maybe. 3,375. Close enough. And that should make him a rank 14. Yep. And that's more than enough to get his level 2 weapon. And we almost got his level 3 weapon. So, yeah. Anyway. And we have 4 bodyguards now. And we increased the class. We increased the class. There you go. The fuck was I saying? Anyway, we'll save. Well, after all of this clusterfuck, there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll take on the Battle of Changban. Peace out.